All right, this is a, um, a short uh, tour of my uh, second and pretty well permanent uh, room over here for the duration. Uh, I only spent a week at the 138 uh, home and uh, from now on I'm going to be here. And I've been here for a week now, a little over a week. So it gives me plenty of time to give a fair evaluation of my time here. Um, it's pretty good overall. There was, a few, there was a couple of major teething problems when I first moved in here. Uh, one of which was uh, the internet was really crappy. I mean, I've, I'd, I'd had a bad run with the internet because the 138 home, it was a bit sporadic as well. And it was even worse here. It was really ordinary. And I had to try switching between networks. I had a choice of, of two different networks on this level and neither of them were typically great. Um, so I ended up uh, complaining about it to Anne, who's been my go-to person here. She actually works on the reception desk. I wasn't aware of that when I made the Airbnb booking. I thought she was just a normal host, which means she was off, off site, but she isn't. She's actually, she works here part time uh, by the looks of things. So uh, it's easy to get in contact with her and she always answers very quickly. So that's really important. And she got on to the internet. They got a guy in-house to do it initially and then they switched to a, an expert who had a uh, uh, some company name on the back of his jacket and it took hours to get this sorted out. Um, the second guy was here for probably about one, one and a half hours uh, sorting things out, fiddling around with the actual modem up there. I think he might have replaced the modem, I'm not sure. But he also went uh, up into the cavity of the uh, the roof outside here in the common area where the lift is. So it took quite a bit of time to get it done, but he got it fixed and it is just chalk and cheese. It, it's now one of the best internet uh, connections I've encountered over here. So there was something fundamentally wrong. And the second uh, problem I had here was actually with the shower. It was, was was stone cold cold. It was just, there was no warmth whatsoever. So fairly bracing to have a shower like that in the morning. And considering that I'm gonna be spending a week like that in uh, Phuket, one of the islands in Phuket, uh, doesn't have any heating. So I was thinking, well, I don't wanna to have to go through the, through, um, uh, from weeks on end without uh, a hot shower. That would be a bit tough. I'm a bit of a softy. Uh, so I complained about that to Anne as well and it felt like a real whinger. Uh, but she, after two attempts, she she apparently got got the message through to the people because originally it became lukewarm but uh, it still wasn't hot. And I, to, I, I said to her one night, I said, look, you know, um, you know, still isn't exactly great. And she said, well, that's it's just normal in um, in Vietnam. And I said, no, it's not because I've stayed at many places in Vietnam and I always had a hot shower. And I think she got the message and she might have been happy, but she got the message, she contacted him again and got it fixed. It makes me think I must be the only person whinging about these things. It is, it's, there must be at least 21 people or 21 separate uh, units in this, this block, but uh, I might be the only one that complains about these things. Anyway, as you can see, it's uh, it's not a huge room, but it's okay. We've got, I've got some natural light coming out there. The, the, the good news about the window is it's facing the rear of the building, so I don't get the traffic noise. Although I can still hear those damn chickens. They're everywhere around here. Even on this, this is the seventh floor and I can hear chickens. But it's nowhere near as bad as at the 138 uh, home. Uh, I've got a little bar fridge there. It's only small, but it works fine. And I've actually got the ice happening there. There's a, a safe there under the cupboard, as you can see. But I don't know what the combination is for it. I probably should get around to doing that. But I'm in no great rush to use it. But it's nice to know it's here. Um, and... Uh, to the um, uh, to the right there, I don't know if you can even see it in screen. Is you can probably just see the part of that. Uh, there's a uh, a flat screen TV, and um, and that's fine. I look, I went through the stations. It has some Eng English language stations, and uh, I think the reception's actually slightly better than one three eight uh, home, but it's not great. Uh, but I use I actually use it uh, with the memory stick and it works fine. It, it's got I can use all I can put the memory stick in there and, and, and watch stuff uh, that I've got off the net. So it's fantastic. So I'm very happy with it. So yeah, it's not the biggest room on earth, but it's got the basics. It's reasonably quiet. I haven't had any noise issues here on the seventh floor. It's been great that way. Um, Bit of a musty smell, but there is an exhaust fan I can use to clear things. So overall, pretty good. 
um, and fairly comfortable, and I'd say more comfortable than the 138 uh, home. So it's definitely a, a, a better for a long-term uh, accommodation for me. And here's another uh, angle of uh, looking onto the bed, obviously. Uh, it, the walls are clean, it seems quite fine to me. Uh, I don't have any neighbours here because this is a rather thin building and the, the neighbours that I do have are at the other side of the lift well. So I, I haven't heard any noise from them. The only noise I do hear is from upstairs. Uh, and the, the really good news is because I've got this 40% discount, I think I'm only paying about $20 Australian a night for this place. So. It's a relative bargain. I mean, most places, I, when I come here to stay, I'll be paying 35 to 40 so it's about half the price. So I've got no complaints at all. And considering that Anne's been very responsive to my um, questions about uh, maintenance, uh, it makes it even better. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy, happy with the place. Right, now there's the uh, view through the window. It's... Uh the bars are a bit of a pain, but I guess they're there. Actually, that's a... Um, uh, a ladder so it's protecting anybody who's walking outside so it's obviously a safety feature but it does obscure the view a bit not that the view's astounding but it's it's okay um, and you can you can hear the uh, the chooks in the background believe it or not um, there you go yeah yeah there must be a hell of a lot of them down there but that's just looking to the west and it's not the most inspiring view but it is natural light and it's better than nothing. Uh, it, ideally, it'd be nice to have a balcony, but it's okay. I can live without it. So that's uh, basically the re the the view uh, outside. And there you go. There's a shot. Uh, you can see the one of the uh, bulky chairs in the foreground. They're reasonably comfortable. They don't have any cushions on the back, but they're okay. Uh, at least there's proper furniture here. I didn't have that in the 138 home at all. There was no furniture whatsoever. So. Um, there you go, you've got uh, the doorway there and uh, the entrance. It's not a big place, so there's the only other bit I've got to show you is really the bathroom. So uh, let's get to that. All right, there's the bathroom. Uh, it's nothing wrong with that, all the basics. Uh, you have a choice between the big um, uh, square overhead shower head, which is fixed, or the one below it, which you can actually manoeuvre around using the uh, flexible uh, lead that goes into the uh, water supply. So you can just, just those normal ones you can move around and spray wherever you like. I prefer to just have the big static one above me. I, I like that. And as I say, now we've got nice nice hot water. Uh, it comes with shampoo and, um, and uh, shower gel. And there's also hand washing liquid. Um, I don't think they supplied tooth, toothbrushes and um, and the paste. I didn't supply that, but it didn't worry me anyway. I already had that, so that's about nothing missing. But uh, yeah, it's a p perfectly functional um, shower. No complaints at all. And not forgetting the most important item in the bathroom, that is, it's the toilet. And that's uh, also quite quite good with the, uh, the B-Day. They always have the little B-Day cord uh, in Vietnam. And one of these days I'll get around to using it, but I uh, haven't uh, needed to so far, so that's good. You can't really wash clothes in that that um, that basin. There's no way of actually plugging it. But it's not an issue because they have a fully functioning uh, washing machine downstairs and a kitchen and a clothes dryer. So you've got all the basics here, basically, So uh, which I have used and it worked fine, the washing machine. So I haven't done any cooking, though, but uh, maybe... Maybe I'll do. I'll cook some greens. We'll see how adventurous I feel. But overall, it's uh, it's it's all the basics. Nothing glamorous about this place, but it ticks all the basic boxes. And here's the uh, the corridor leading to the uh, my neighbour down the other end. There, there's another one there to the right, and a uh, a lift just over there to the closest right with stairs. Uh, right next to my room. Not that anybody uses the stairs around here, so it's not even an issue that I have to be close to those stairs. As I say, this place is, is anything but noisy. It's great. Uh, so very happy, uh, convenient location, lots of shops with food outlets everywhere around here. It's, it's so convenient, it's not funny. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this place and uh, this is probably one of my best Airbnb finds. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. 
Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.